Hey guys, it's Justin from Star Wars Fanatics, and today I'm reviewing the Star Wars The Last Jedi First Order TIE Fighter. So first, we're going to be taking a look at the package. Alright. So here it says Star Wars with the red letters on the white background with Poe, Rey, and Finn. And first thing I'll point out to you guys, so you can see I got this at Walmart for only $15 on clearance. Uh, these things usually retail for 40 bucks. So yeah, if, if you can find one for 15 bucks, that is a great deal. Here it says where force link to activate sounds. Here's a uh, cool image of the TIE fighter in battle. Here's the uh, Walmart exclusive sticker. That is where the uh, first order TIE fighter pilot goes. And then here's the Disney and Hasbro logo on the bottom right. So on the side of the box, we get a cool look at the TIE fighter pilot. On the back of the box, we get a description. Which says, the elite of the first order starfighter pilots have access to specialized craft, such as this two-seater TIE craft, outfitted with enhanced weapons and sensor systems. Here it says that uh, the cockpit does open, it uh, fires projectile missiles, and it has blast off wings. Then here is we've got the Force Link starter set and the Disney and Hasbro logo on the bottom right. So now we're going to be taking a look at the TIE Fighter. But uh, first, before we look at the TIE Fighter, Let's talk about the, uh, the figure it comes with. All right. I'm gonna move the TIE Fighter out of the way so we get a little bit more lighting. All right, so here it is. So this TIE Fighter figure is five points of articulation. It's your pretty standard uh, TIE Fighter pilot figure. Nothing too special about it. Um, one thing that is pretty cool about it is that his uh, mask is removable. So there's his face, pretty you know standard face. Uh, no particular character or anything, just a uh, TIE Fighter pilot. But yeah, his articulation, his, uh, his head is on a ball joint, goes left and right, and then um, little bit of up and down. His uh, arms go up. Here's a look at that as blaster by the way. Pretty cool. And his legs go up as well. And then here is the uh, force link chip on the bottom of his left foot. So now we're gonna see what he says with the force link. <laughs> Waiting orders. Resistance fighters incoming. Get to the hangar. Blast them. Get to the hangar. Resistance fighters incoming. Get to the hangar. So that's pretty cool. It's a few phrases that he says. Now I'm going to put the uh, mask back, the helmet back on him. I'm going to stick him in the TIE fighter, and we're going to take a look at the TIE fighter. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the uh, the TIE Fighter back into the cockpit. Um, it is a two-seater, so it's a little bit of a crammed fit. Kind of have to get the figures to stand just right, but now I got them. All right, so now let's take a look at the TIE Fighter. So as you can see, the TIE Fighter is uh, all black. And then uh, it does have some red on it, as you see in the movies. 
Um, and then it does, the red does go around to the back also, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, this button on the ground, uh, I mean not on the ground, on the bottom of it, this is what uh, shoots the projectile missiles, so we'll look at those in a sec. Oh, and then also you'll see these buttons. Give me a little, let me try to put it into the light a little bit. There's these buttons that you can, uh, you press those, then the uh, projectile wings come off, and then there is the where the uh, force link chip is. All right, so now we're going to fire the projectile missiles. And because I don't want to lose them, I'm going to stick this box back here, and I'm going to shoot the missiles out. So yeah, those are pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, the, uh, the missiles are a light green color, and then they have like a black tip to it. So yeah, these are some pretty cool looking missiles. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how the, uh, the wings come off. So you'll just hold it up, and then that button I said earlier, you'll just press that. Then there's one wing, and then here is the other. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Now let me get the uh, TIE Fighter back together, and then we're going to look at the, uh, the Force Link for the TIE Fighter. Wait, one thing I forgot to mention, guys, um, just, I hate when the wings just fly off and I don't want them to. That is an issue sometimes. These TIE Fighters, a lot of times the wings come off when you're not even pressing the button, even though they're on all the way. Here, I'm going to put my camera down real quick. Now we're going to be taking a look at the force link for the TIE Fighter. Fortunately I have a low battery guys so I'm not sure if this is going to work. Come on. I actually had to do a retake of this video. The last one it worked. There we go. So that's cool, it actually activated the TIE Fighter and the figure. It's probably all I'm going to get out of the Force Link today. I need to put some new batteries in this. I have like three Force Links, and I swear, these the batteries on them run out very quickly. That's my one complaint about the Force Link. Other than that, the Force Link is pretty awesome. I really do like it. Alright, so that is all the features of the First Order TIE Fighter pilot. 
If uh, you guys want to buy this, it is a Walmart exclusive, so um, that's the only place you can get it, or probably on eBay. If you do have the one from The Force Awakens, you don't need this one other than if you really want a Force Link operated one, which I did, but I was waiting for it to go on sale, and I was glad to pick one up for 15 bucks. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Uh, so it has been Justin from Star Wars Fanatics. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram page, which will be in the description, where I show you guys any Star Wars toys that I buy. I will see you guys later. Bye.